Well, Kenyans are not happy with President Museveni. Actually, they are very angry. Wait, I'm gonna tell you what President Museveni has done to Kenyans. And in other news, you guys cannot believe the happiness in Dr. Jose Chameleon's camp. And please allow me to clap for now, even before I give you the details. Yes, yes, Chameleon, those claps are for you. Well, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, starting off with the Vice President of Uganda, the latest news I have on the Buzz UG indicates that the Vice President of Uganda, that is Her Excellency Jessica Alupo, is set to introduce her new lover. Now, Jessica Alupo was married to a soldier man called Captain Innocent Tukashaba, whom she introduced in 2011. But unfortunately, they had issues in their marriage and they had to part ways. However, they managed to have two children together. Now, according to the news I have on the Buzz UG, uh, Jessica Alupo will be introducing her new man called Peter Abeine and this big man comes from Kabale. Now, sources reveal that this big man is 48 years old and Jessica Alupo is 47 years. So you can really see that they match. And I think Afande Jessica Alupo enjoys men from Western Uganda <laughs> because <laughs> the first husband was innocent to Kashawa and still this one is called Peter Abeine from Western Uganda. So I think she has a very big connection with people from that side, which is okay. Yes, which is okay. Anyway, congratulations to you, Her Excellency, the Vice President of Uganda. We wish you all the best with your new man. Well, in other news, Frank Walusimbi, according to the news circulating on different social media platforms, is set to join BBS TV after retiring from NTV Uganda. But this is still unconfirmed information circulating on social media. However, some people have already expressed excitement after landing on this news of joining BBS TV. And others are saying it would be too fast for him to move on to another TV station right now. Well, personally, I haven't confirmed this story, but I'm following on it very closely and I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, this week a wedding invitation card made rounds on social media indicating that Pastor Wilson Bugembe's wedding is happening on the 3rd of June. However, the wedding card looked very fake because it even had not the details of the other family. Now, Pastor Wilson Bugembe has finally commented on this card that has been making rounds on social media. He said he's not organizing any wedding and he hasn't sent any invitation cards to anyone. Well, Pastor Bugembe also said he knows Ugandans want him to marry, but he will take his time and God will send him someone at the right time. There you go. So if you are still questioning if it's true that Pastor Wilson Bugembe is getting married, please, it's not true. Disregard that information circulating on social media. Well, in other news, Kenyans have been bothered on why President Museveni and Paul Kagame of Rwanda did not attend Mwai Kibaki's state funeral service at the Nyayo Stadium yesterday. Now, some people have gone to the extent of thinking that there is bad blood between Kenya, Uganda and Rwanda. Now, the ICT cabinet secretary in Kenya, that is Mr. Joe Mucheru, has defended the two presidents. Uh, this big man says President Museveni and Paul Kagame could not visit Kenya for the third time in two weeks as that would be a breach of protocol. Now, in his own words, he said, They were here in Kenya twice in the last two weeks. There is protocol on how many times heads of state can visit the same country. Do not judge. Let us give our late president an honorable send-off. Thank you. There you go. That is a Mr. Joe Mucheru, the ICT cabinet secretary in Kenya. But some people are not yet convinced. Yeah, some people are still not yet happy about their abscess. Well, lastly, in other news, uh, Jose Chameleon has finally acquired USA visa after tried for some good months, but he wasn't successful. Rumor on social media had it that legendary Jose Chameleon had been denied USA visa because of his connection with the NRM government. However, according to Chameleon, he managed to get a visa a few days ago. 
So as we speak right now, Jose Chameleon is very excited that he's going to be checking on his family in USA after a long time. Ooh, I can only imagine that feeling he has right now. Wow, congratulations, legendary Jose Chameleon, and please allow me to clap for him. Yeah, 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 congratulations, congratulations to you, Jose. I wish you a very safe journey in Adverse. Yeah, so basically, those are some of the big stories that are making headlines right now in Uganda, and... Of course, you got the buzz, you got everything. I did promise you that anything that is trending in the country, definitely you got it right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.